वेलकम जॉनसन ग्रामर स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज रविचंद्र सर अकाउंटेंसी फैकल्टी सो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस ऑलरेडी वी स्टार्टेड द रेशियो एनालिसिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम द लास्ट टू सेशंस सो दिस इज द थर्ड सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेशियो एनालिसिस चैप्टर सो अंडर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रेशियोस देयर आर द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ रेशियोस आर देयर वन इज द लिक्विडिटी रेशियोस अनदर वन इज द सॉल्वेंट्स रेशियोस and uh, profitability ratios are there activity ratios are there so now we are discussing about the first ratio that is the liquidity ratio under that liquidity ratio there are the two types of ratios are there one is the current ratio and another one is the liquid ratio so right now we are doing the problems based on the current ratio so this is one problem uh, this is one problem we are discussing calculate the current ratio from the following information so actually this is the problem see here non current investments are showing 1 lakh rupees current investments are showing 40000 inventories in bracket some information is there that is including loose tools 50000 the total amount is 2 lakhs 80000 trade receivables sundry debtors and the bills receivable so uh, 1 lakh 60 plus 20 total 2 1 lakh 80000 trade payables Sundry creditors and the bills payable, one lakh twenty thousand and ten thousand. So long term borrowings are there twenty two lakhs. Short term borrowings fifty thousand. Short term provisions in bracket provision for tax is there. So cash and bank balance thirty thousand is showing. So actually this is the data. By using this data we have to find out the current ratio. So here current ratio formula is current assets divided by current liabilities. In our last, in our previous sessions, we discussed about the detailed discussion about the current assets and current liabilities. So, by using this data, now we have to find out the current ratio. Okay. So, for that, what we have to do? First of all, we have to find out which one is the current asset, which one is the non-current asset, which one is the current liability, which one is the non-current liability. So, for that, just you will see like this. First, you take this non-current investment, non-current. So, it indicates. non current that means this is a non current asset okay now so for the calculation of current ratio you don't include that means you put the it to mark like this next current investments current investments means this is the current asset this 40000 we have to consider for the calculation of the current ratio so you put the tick mark like this next inventories so here inventories are showing 280000 it is showing But in this two lakhs eighty thousand, fifty thousand, including loose tools. So for the calculation of the current ratio, current assets, okay na, you don't include the loose tools. So how much you have to record? Two lakhs eighty thousand minus fifty thousand. So you have to consider only two lakhs thirty thousand only. You have to consider. Okay, next, coming to the trade receivables. Trade receivables means. Sundry debtors and bills receivable. Trade receivables means sundry debtors and bills receivable. So these two are combinedly called as trade receivables. So here sundry debtors are showing one lakh sixty thousand. Bills receivable is showing showing twenty thousand. So this is also current asset. This is also current asset. It, these two we have to consider as a current assets. Coming to the trade payables. So this trade payable item will appear in the balance sheet liability side. Under the current liabilities, so trade payables here, sundry debt creditors and the bills payable, combinedly called as trade payables. So these two terms are very very important, trade receivables and trade payables. So here one lakh twenty thousand is the creditors, ten thousand is the bills payable. So these two also we have to include in the current liabilities. Next, long term borrowings. Generally, long term borrowings. we will use this term for the debentures okay for the debentures we will use this long term borrowings so this is the non current liability non current liability so that is the reason this you don't consider okay next short term borrowings short term means within the one year borrowing means suppose bank overdraft so bank overdraft we have to pay within the one year like that so that is comes under the short term borrowings so it is 50000 is showing so that is current liability next short term provisions so generally short term provisions like this provision for a tax and proposed dividend but in this problem 
short term provisions short provision for tax is there 20000 so this also current liability next cash and bank balance so cash and bank balance this is the cash and cash equivalents just you look into the balance sheet cash and cash in hand and bank in cash in bank is appearing to 30000 so this is also current asset see here this is the non current asset don't consider current asset current asset you take into the account this 2 lakhs 30 only you have to take into the account this item this item and this item consider as a current assets so what are the current liabilities current liabilities are see here trade payables is the current liabilities so sundry creditors and bills payable and short term borrowings and provision for tax these items comes under the current liability so now what you will do first you write the formula okay so i have pause it yes now we are writing the answer so first you write the formula formula is very very important for this we will you will get the mark so current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities so what is the current assets what are the current liabilities first you have to write the formula so by using this information by using this information you have to find the current assets and current liabilities so right here current investments plus inventories so in bracket excluding loose tools plus trade receivables under the trade receivables some debtors is there and bills receivable is there and cash and bank balance okay so current investments are showing 40000 inventories actually 280000 is there but we deducted from that loose tools 50000 that is showing 230000 next after that trade receivables so under this debtors is there bills receivable is there debtors 160000 bills receivable 20000 is there next plus this 30000 belongs to the cash and cash equivalents that is nothing but cash and bank balance so the total coming 480000 this is about the current uh, assets next current liabilities so write the formula again trade payables in this problem we are having trade payables some decreditors bills bills receive bills payable this i am writing in the in brackets okay plus short term borrowings plus short term provisions so that is the provision for tax so trade payables 120000 plus 10000 120 plus 10 120 plus 10 so total 130 is the trade payables plus 50000 belongs to the short term borrowings 20000 belongs to the short term provisions so now the total current liabilities are showing 2 lakhs okay next so now we know the current assets and we know the current liabilities now write the current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities current assets are showing 4 lakhs 80000 current liabilities is showing 2 lakhs so now the answer is 2.4 is to 1 so for this problem for this problem actually what is the ideal ratio for uh, if it is the current ratio the ideal ratio is the 2 is to 1 but in this problem we got the answer 2.4 is to 1 okay so that is the reason uh, they are having the good capa capability okay now so see an ideal ratio for this current ratio should be 2 is to 1 which denotes that the current assets of a business should at least be twice of its current liabilities current ratio of this company is 2.4 is to 1 so therefore it can be said that the short term financial position of the company is satisfactory this company is in a position to pay its current liabilities in time so like that you have to understand so like this you practice some more problems okay thank you students